Years in the making, tonight the Coronado City Council unanimously approved a new housing plan. The draft plan puts Coronado in accordance with state law and increases the city's number of lower income housing units. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez was at tonight's meeting and shares how people are responding. The plan would open the door for more than 1,000 new housing units to be built in Coronado. About half of these would be lower income housing. The city of Coronado is working to comply with state laws for affordable housing. I know that many of our teachers, our police officers, and our Navy community cannot afford to live here where they work. The new plan looks to boost lower income housing. It doesn't require the units to be built, but changes zoning to allow for this type of construction. The plan includes adding more accessory dwelling units and adding kitchens to carriage housing. The city has identified 10 sites around Coronado where new housing might be built. As we learned tonight, many residents are pushing back. Where do we draw the line? Do we fight now or do we fight later? And I'm in favor of fighting now. The city says more than 100 units could be built where the Smart and Final store is located on B Avenue. More than 300 units of military housing could be built on a large bayfront property. A site owned by the Coronado School District, known as Site 9, allows for an additional 100 units. You go past Alameda and it's a special little world there. What you're proposing with Site 9 will nuke that. My big problem is traffic. Um, we're talking about a lot of units within a very limited, uh, fairly limited uh, space. Motion carries, all voting aye. Tonight's vote comes after the state sent a letter to Coronado city leaders last December. It said the city is out of compliance with the state's affordable housing requirements. If Coronado didn't do something soon, the state has threatened to fine the city between $10,000 and $100,000 per month for persistent noncompliance. If Coronado remained noncompliant, a court could then multiply those penalties. After hearing from more than a dozen residents, the city council voted unanimously to send the draft plan to the state. And they're hopeful to get approval in the spring, which would put Coronado in accordance with state law. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.